Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Our future Our future Our future Our future <laughs> Welcome. Laura and I are glad you're here. The celebration of them, their union. Y'all please hold the applause to the end of the ceremony. Uh. Let's go. A lot of you know Mary Jo and Rich and I have been friends for a long time. We're, we're already family. But they raised a fine young man, and I hope that uh, he will honor, cherish, and love her. So, so Ryan, you, uh, you take care of her, you keep her car full of gas, you keep it clean, and you just inherited her cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> with you, I can't help but wanting to pause this moment for forever. But then I think about all our adventures to come in life and how God has provided so much for us both already. <laughs> and I can't wait for what's to come. Ryan, I promise to love you with my entire soul, I promise to be your best friend, and I promise my entire heart to you. my person and God created you for me and me for you. I want you to know I'll always be by your side. The way you have opened my eyes to more growth than I thought was possible for myself and I can't thank you enough for that. You're my equal, you're my person, you're my soulmate, you're my lover, and I'm honored to be your wife today. I love you more, forever and always, my sweet, sweet, almost husband. waiting for this day for a long time. Four years, four months, and 22 days to be exact. That was the day that I knew, without a doubt in my mind, that I was going to marry you. June 28th, 2017 was the day... <laughs> the day he chose for me to find my soulmate, my best friend, and later today, my wife. I am the luckiest man in the world. Because God made me just for you. I promised your parents that I would always cherish you and love you with all that I have until the day I die. <laughs> and I make the same promise to you today. gather in the presence of God today to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Ryan, Thomas, Shannon, and Hannah Elizabeth Summer, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they might be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. Ryan, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Will you love and honor her, comfort and keep her, and forsake all others as long as you both shall live? If so, say 
I do. Yeah. Hannah, do you take this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love and honor him, comfort and keep him, and forsake all others as long as you both shall live? If so, say I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. It gives me great pleasure for the first time to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Thomas Shannon. don't know me I'm, I'm the dad well, we are we are happy to celebrate Hannah and Ryan and their union and when all this stuff started a year ago my bride of 37 years now said if you turn into Steve Martin from the movie father of the bride we're gonna have a problem and I was like well, all I want to do is set up you know tent in the backyard in Lake Wiley you know I used my tuxedo from college, but I gave that away way a long time ago. I'll smoke a pig, and then I realized she's my only daughter. So all that went out the window, as you can tell. I think that Hannah's mom, Laura, and I would like to take credit for this union. <laughs> Because for many years, we suggested to Hannah that she pay attention to Ryan. And for many years, I suggested to Ryan that he pay attention to this beautiful woman, Hannah. But we cannot take any credit at all because through the process, <laughs> um, Ryan checked in with Scott.